Hi, I'm Izzy, and this is Dizzy Quilts and Sews. Welcome to this week's episode of Friday Sews. All right, so I think it's going to be a pretty quick one this week because I've not done a whole lot down here this week. I had um, other things on my calendar, such as getting some last minute things done for my trip. I had a very nice dinner with a bunch of friends from my workplace, actually, a few of them who have gone a lot of years ago, but we kept in touch. And so five of us got together for dinner last night and it was amazing. It was really, really nice to see everybody again. We had some good food, some good conversation, and yeah, I had a very nice week, basically, so it wasn't down here a whole lot. I did get a couple of things, well, one thing finished, and one thing, well, started, I guess. So, I finished my Project Dresser Girl dress number two, and it's now on its way to... Nova Scotia to Sherry from mensfabrics.ca. So she is the Canadian ambassador for Project Dresser Girl. So she's going to make sure that all of our dresses get distributed to little girls all over the world, which is amazing. I'm going to, I guess, insert a picture of it here because, like I said, it's gone. But yeah, I really enjoyed making those dresses. I will definitely plan it better for next year and start making little girl dresses in January. I can't really commit to making little girl dresses before the holidays because I expect that as soon as I'm back from Charlotte Frocktails in October, it's going to be pedal to the metal to get all of my Christmas sewing done. So in January, I'll make sure I get a bunch of, there's a fly in my room, get a bunch of quilting cottons and make one or two dresses maybe every month so that come August or September, I have a nice pile of them to send to Sherry for Project Dresser Girl. So that was my one finish this week. The other thing I worked on is Marianne's dress for Charlotte Frocktails. So I'm making her the Yvette dress by Dressmaking Amori. I'm gonna pop a picture of the pattern here. I used some remnants I had in my stash to make the muslin of the bodice. And I have to say, wow, it's worked out so well. So the outside is a cotton lawn I got wow a long long time ago this is a remnant from a Melody Dolman shirt I made myself if I remember and the lining is a think pink fabric I had a very small bit left from a Vernon shirt I made myself so I lined it I didn't put the boning in I didn't really finish any of the seams but I did do the straps. I did not put the zipper in. And Marianne came over after work today actually to try it on and it fits her like a glove. Like it fits her perfectly and she is so excited. I mean it fits like perfectly to her. It's like it was the pattern was made for her the length is perfect. It hits her at the right spot. It is going to look amazing made up in the final fabric I'm going to choose for this. And it was so easy to sew, like literally so easy. It took me maybe an hour and a half to put this together. Very small pieces to cut too, so it's easy. I'm so excited, but the best part is she is so excited. <laughs> so now I can't wait to start working on the final dress. And I actually was not going to sew um, until I leave for Greece because it's a long weekend here. So it's Labor Day on Monday. It's going to be a long weekend. We're going to the island. Might even stay over an extra day. 
and I leave Tuesday evening for Greece so I wasn't gonna have any time really to do anything but now I'm thinking I might cut the fabric for Marianne's dress like the lining and the exterior fabric so that when I get back from my trip I can get right to sewing and hopefully maybe even by the end of September be all done with our Frocktails outfits maybe you know what they say about best laid plans so yeah so all that to say that this is it this is all I've gotten up to let me get back to the middle <laughs> that's all I've gotten up to in the sewing room this week and uh, yeah I'm not making any plans for sewing between now and my flight there really would be no point so that's it in the sewing department Except that I wanted to share something that arrived in the mail um, last week, a little while ago. So this is the Kylie and the Machine Advent Calendar of Labels. I got myself this one two years ago and absolutely loved it and now I'm running pretty low on labels. I don't always remember to put a label in my garments. Um, I tend to not even bother with a label if it's really easy to see the front from the back. I mean, yeah. So I do put a label in every single garment I make for Marianne. Um, I like doing that, but for my garments, I, yeah, I don't always remember to put one. But look how cute this is. So this opens like this and then we've got all of the doors on this side and then there's little sayings on this side oh it's a game I don't know anyways super cute I'm very excited and this is gonna help me refill my labels stash and yeah, and that also got me thinking about Vlogmas and about Christmas and about Christmas sewing. And please tell me I'm not the only one who is thinking about Christmas sewing already. Like I started throwing ideas down on paper, thinking about what I might want to make for whom. I really want to make things a little bit easier for myself this year. If you've been around the channel for a while, last Christmas I did Vlogmas, so I filmed a video every single day and published a video every single day. But on top of that, I made, I don't know how many faux leather tote bags as gifts for the ladies in my life. I made some t-shirts for Dougie. I made myself two Christmas outfits. It was all a little bit much. So this year I want to try and slow down, simplify a little bit. I still want to do Vlogmas every day in December because I really, really enjoyed that. And I'm going to simplify the presents I make. I'm going to try to see if I can use my Cricut machine a little bit more because with the Cricut machine, it's really cool because you just find something fun and then you buy a blank and then you just stick some vinyl, like either heat transfer vinyl or sticky vinyl, basically, on the thing. And it can still make a very fun and personalized gift, but then you don't have to make the thing from scratch. Yeah, um, I am taking vacation around Christmas, so like the week leading up to and then the week after Christmas I'll be off which I think I'm actually booking three weeks this year so I'm doing everything I can to make it so that I don't get to Christmas Day completely exhausted and not even able to enjoy the holiday with family so yeah so let me know in the comments below what are you doing? Are you already thinking about your Christmas making? Do you typically make a lot of Christmas gifts? Um, I would love to know down in the comments below. 
Yeah, so as far as the channel while I'm away, so there won't be any Friday Sews videos for the next couple of weeks. I really want to be in the moment. I really want to enjoy my two weeks with my beautiful, beautiful daughter. I will be uh, putting videos out on Tuesdays like usual because I've already filmed those. So those are going to come out on both Tuesdays. And I will also be taking lots and lots of pictures and maybe even some videos and I'll put all of that up on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram already, my Instagram handle is always in the description box of each of my videos. So go and check that out and give me a follow over there. And yeah, I'll be sharing all of my adventures while I'm away. And then of course, when I get back during my first Friday Sews after coming back, I'll give you all a very quick recap and maybe share a few pictures as well. Finally, a big huge thank you to Brenda who bought me a few coffees recently. So thank you so much Brenda and if you're curious about what that is, there's a link to my Kofi account down in the description box and that's basically like a virtual tip jar. Um, where you can support your favorite YouTubers or creators by just giving them a tip or buying them a coffee. So there you go. That's going to do it for me this week. I thank you very, very much for stopping by and watching the video today. Please give it a like on your way out if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again and I will see you soon.